In this video, we get to talk about classification of computers according to size and capabilities. In this class, we have several types of computers. Let's start with the supercomputers. Supercomputers are highly sophisticated and they are extremely powerful computers. They are the fastest computers because they process billions of instructions per second. These computers are very expensive and are used for special and highly intensive tasks. For example, the scientific research, weather forecasting, quantum physics, and military purposes. These computers are larger in size and their storage capacity is extremely high. These computers consume a lot of energy and generate a lot of heat. A good example of these computers include the IBM Deep Blue and the IBM 650. The second type of computers in this category is the mainframe computers. Basically, mainframe refers to large cabinets that house the CPU and memory of earlier computers. These computers are powerful and they are used by many large organizations to manage large amounts of centralized data and programs. They are expensive and large in size compared to the mini computers. These computers were used in banking, airlines, government, and railways. A good example is the IBM 370. We also have the mini computers. These are basically the medium-sized computers with a medium-range performance power. They are small in size compared to the supercomputers. These computers are designed for parallel processing. That is simply to serve multiple users simultaneously. These computers are larger and more expensive than microcomputers. They include the Digital Alpha and the Sun Ultra computers. We also have the microcomputers, also called personal computers. These are the smallest computers and they are designed with a microprocessor as its central processing unit. These computers are designed to be used by one person at a time. They are cheaper and easier to use. Microcomputers are divided into two. We have the desktops. These computers cannot be carried around, they are not portable. And then we have the portables. These are computers that can be carried around. For example, the laptops, palm tops, notebooks, and other wearable computers such as watches. Computers. In our next video, we'll discuss the classification of computers based on the number of processors, that is the number of microprocessors.